Irish yogurts Clonakilty. Try a spoonful of delicious. Yeah. It looks great anyway. How do we it's, make it? It's absolutely gorgeous. I'm so excited about this. So it's got a, a base which is um, with butter and digestive biscuits. So mm -hmm. it's sort of like a, um, well, it's sort of, you know, just a biscuit base. Yeah. And I'm just going to um, stir that together. So 50 grams of melted butter, so 125 grams of digestive biscuits. And feel free to use um, gluten-free biscuits. Work Perfect. perfectly. In they work the exactly the same, yeah. Eunice. Absolutely, and yeah. then I'm just going to pop those into my springform tin, which I've lined with a little circle of um, of greaseproof paper, and mm -hmm. I'm going to spread these out. So this is a, a cheesecake base, really. Well, yeah, you see, but it's it's a torte base, Dahi. Okay, okay. Yeah, and. Um, <laughs> Could be, you know, it's like a cheesecake base, but it's not. Okay. okay, so I'm going to spread that out and then I'm going to... I know three things that it's not, but I'm still not sure what it is. Yeah, okay, well, <laughs> you'll find out. All will be revealed. I'm really, really excited about this. Mm -hmm. It's... Um it's just such, like, you're going to see the flavours going in a second. Okay. And, Eunice, we have some lovely colours here, but we're kind of putting, we're putting the hold on Christmas. No, we're holding on we're to the autumnal Christmas. part this of it. This is autumn. Okay. It's aromatic and okay. flavoursome, and it's got gorgeous autumn colours. Yeah. It's not Christmas. Okay. That's going to go into the fridge yes. for half an hour or so, mm. and this is one I did earlier, yep. and I refrigerated Just for people at home, Eunice, how thick should that be? It's really, really thin. Okay. okay. Like you'll see it in a, uh, you'll see it in a second. Okay. It's really thin, and that's why I just spread it on the bottom of the mm -hmm. tin, and I put a little bit of, um, and I just kind of tapped it with tapped the spoon because I don't want this. You know, something for cheesecake, I know, yeah. and you've got that big the chunk rigid. of, yeah, exactly. Yeah. And that's why it's not a cheesecake. Okay. Okay. One reason is four, uh, four things. No, I know okay. that it's not. <laughs> so what it is is. <laughs> It's an yeah. Irish yogurt, Perfect. Greek yogurt cake. So this, the main ingredient, mm -hmm. is this gorgeous Greek yogurt from Irish yogurt, Clana Kilty. And I'm going to put in 300 grams of this. Oh, sorry, I've used Looks the wrong spoon. Silky. It's absolutely gorgeous. Smooth. So I'm putting in um, three fifths of the tub, the 500 gram tubs of this. Mm -hmm. my mats on that. Maybe yeah. I'll give another three dollop fifths. in there. Okay. okay, three fifths of the tub. So it's 300 grams. And then I'm putting in 200 grams of ricotta cheese. Mm -hmm. And what I love about this is that it's all kind of. You know, it's, it's all in one recipe. And then I'm putting in three eggs. Lovely. Three nice free-range eggs. You're keeping well, Eunice. Really well, Good. yeah. We're actually flying through the eggs at the moment in the kitchen with all our Christmas puddings and Christmas cakes. And yeah. it's, um, so the Christmas cakes should be made at this stage, should they? Uh, they should, yeah. Well, yeah. you know, it's OK to kind of bake them now. Like, I think the most important part, as opposed to having them made ages beforehand, is to have the fruit really well soaked, you know? Now, I'm putting in some brown sugar, Love OK? It. So some nice, soft brown sugar. Now, if I can just go back on something. Yes. Leave the yoghurt and the ricotta cheese out at room temperature for about half an hour beforehand. It makes the whole thing easy to come together. Have to mix them up first, or should no, 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 just, just leave, them? leave everything in okay. just as I'm doing it. Okay. A tablespoon of corn flour again, so this is gluten free, mm -hmm. and we're using the corn flour um, just to kind of bind everything together, you know, to thicken it up. Two desserts are two kind of tablespoons ish of um, I'm going to put three in, okay, because I said two tablespoons in these dessert spoons. Mm -hmm. And what is that? Oh, sorry, it's orange juice. Orange juice, okay. Yeah, excuse me. And then the um, grated rice and orange. I'm actually, I had loads of things prepped. I've been, while you're chatting away over there, I've been prepping everything Good. in case you'd rush me. Eunice, would I ever no, rush no, you? No, no, none See, of See, what me. happens with, with you and I, Eunice, we, we, we start talking, all of we a sudden do. we're chat, 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 and nothing happens. Yeah, we, go off, we go off topic. Yeah. Yeah. No, we won't go off so, topic. So, um, the finely grated rind of an orange, mm. and for me, orange is a real lovely kind of introduction to Christmas because... Um, we use so much orange in our kitchen at Christmas it's time, a you know. Stone to Christmas. Yeah, it is orange. And, we use it in stuffings and in cakes and with cranberry sauce and with absolutely everything. Now, so the orange that's going in here as well. Now, my secret ingredient, okay. Dahi, is orange, um, orange flower water. Where can you get this, Eunice? <sighs> You can get it in Blaster in Dungarvan. You can mm -hmm. get it in a lot of supermarkets. You can get it in um, the market here in Cork. If you could only smell this, you could actually... Yeah, yeah. I could actually, I might put them behind my head. Yeah. <laughs> I could actually wear it. It's absolutely gorgeous. And I'm going to twist all these ingredients together. So you know, the, this is, um, I, don't, I don't know what to do. I don't know whether to, to I drink don't know. it or to kiss it or, or to it's hold it tight all of or what. It. It's all beautiful. Of, it's just beautiful. And it's such I mean, a lovely... Wear, behind my ears, you reckon? Like yeah, this? behind your ears, yeah. Okay. You'll taste, you, you'll, you, you'll taste exotic. You'll smell exotic, Daddy. As opposed to what now, Jonas? <laughs> I don't know. I'm too far away from you. So you just smell like that. Um, but it just gives that kind of lovely yeah. scent of um, just something a little je ne, sais, je ne sais quoi. Is that what we call yeah, it? Yeah, that's exactly je ne sais quoi. what it is. No. Okay. Yeah. Can you use this nutter in, in, in sponges Absolutely. or anything? Absolutely. I use it in. I make a gorgeous um, Diana Henry recipe with plums and I use orange. Yeah. For, I use it in loads of things. I use it in couscous. 
Um, I use it in lots of things. Okay. okay, this goes into the oven at 180 degrees for about 40 minutes, mm -hmm. okay? So when it comes out of the oven, yeah. it's going to look like this. Now look at Is that. Is there a way of checking to make sure it's done, Eunice? Um, it's a be when you, um, when you shake it, there might mm. be a little shake in the middle, yeah. but it'll go, as it cools down, it'll, it'll stiffen up, okay. you know? Perfect, okay. And then what we're going to do, we're going to decorate this with something lovely and seasonal, yeah. seedless grapes. I remember the first time I had seedless grapes. Like, it was such a big thing, you know, because like, they weren't around when we were small. I remember in the supermarket, seedless grapes, and it was just so exciting. So in here, I'm going to put in a dessert spoon of, um, well, a little drizzle of olive oil. And then I'm going to put in a thing called pomegranate molasses, because I'm staying on this sort of Middle Eastern yeah. theme. Now, if you don't have... Is this very sweet? No, it's not. It's not? No, I'm going to pass it up to you and give it a taste. So what it is, it's, mm. it's, the, it's pomegranate juice reduced down into like a little treacle. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to um, put in two teaspoons of it honey. Smells sweet. Now, if at home you can't get pomegranate molasses, mm -hmm. don't worry about it. Put in an extra bit of honey, okay? okay? Or put in an apple syrup or any of these things. Now, this is really important. This is vinegar. I'm putting in white... Vinegar? Wh no, I'm going to tell you why in a minute. White balsamic vinegar. Mm -hmm. If you don't have white balsamic vinegar, put in white wine vinegar, put in apple cider vinegar. Don't put in malt vinegar, okay, you know? Okay, yeah. okay, but, but put in all the rest. Okay, yeah. then I'm going to put these on a tray. So when I put the vinegar in with the honey, mm -hmm. you're going to get this bright red kind of syrup. And I'm going to put those in the oven. Now, in my recipe, mm -hmm. I've said, uh, I think I said 10 minutes, but like, just keep an eye on them because like, you don't want them to collapse. What okay? temperature are you in? Um, again, 180. 180. We're all, yeah. we're all about saving the, um, yeah. saving mm -hmm. the, we'll throw that in a minute. Uh, they're going to come out like this. They come out like this. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. this is what they come out looking like. Lovely. Now, look at that. Like, can you see the, the gorgeous yeah. colour? So, I'm going to just pop them on here. And, um, Okay, I'm going to use a spoon here and pop them on. Do you know the way I hate roasting you? I know. Are they all waving? Or they? I'm not even going to look. <laughs> I'm not going to look at Brendan waving. I thought you were blaming me for a long time there, but you know there are other people here yeah, to no. blame as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, okay, so... Um, and what are you going to do with, all the, with the lovely juice? I'm going to just drizzle a little bit of that over this. Mm -hmm. Okay, now I've got a little bit of it. Now... I'm going to put on some pomegranate seeds. Mm -hmm. I'm going to drizzle a bit of honey over as well, okay? Mm -hmm. Just for a bit of shine, because... Lovely, lovely. No, but you know what? This Grapes are so underused mm -hmm. as an ingredient. And then yeah. I'm going to put some pomegranate seeds on. And again, I use all these ingredients at this time of the year. Pomegranate seeds, pomegranate oh. molasses, don't orange flower water. Well, oh, don't you worry, I won't. Now, there you go. And then we're going to sprinkle this on. Now, Eunice. okay, we're ready Eunice to go. Eunice power. Now, I'll cut a piece for you. Please. Now, do you know what's going Don't to be spare it, no. absolutely divine with this? It's a big dollop of Greek yoghurt. Yeah. Um, and just uh, to while you're getting that ready, I'm going to tell people at home that you can find the recipe on rte.ie forward. Now, look at food. that. It is also on wow. our... Oh, my God. But this could just push me over the edge altogether. Lord God, you as Paul... Like, honestly... Where did they find you? I'm in Dungarvan. <laughs> Winterville. And that's where you can find her every weekend. <laughs> Eunice, this is absolutely beautiful. Isn't it just so... Oh, my God. Like, and, you know, for something so simple, yeah. so easy to put together with... And, you know, the ingredients, mm. we've kind of stepped them up a little bit. Yeah. Um, a, li you know, a little bit of the unusual. But, God, it's gorgeous. Beautiful. Eunice, thank yeah. you very much. Okay. Always great to have you. Uh, Maura, we'll certainly keep you some.